Hello, this is Sammy with Special Needs Apps for Kids. Okay, so this is the iPod. This is the iPod. Um, uh, I've already put a screen protector on it. This is the back, this is the front, this is the top, right and left side, and bottom. So let's, um, let's go through step by step. So um, the iPad on the front only has one button and this is the home button and it's a little square. Now the nice thing this, especially for special needs uh, kids, is that it is, um, you have to, you actually have to press the button. It's not touch sensitive. Um, so they have to be intended about it and the button's also slightly recessed. So um, it's, it's really good for them because um, they can't accidentally hit it. They have to intentionally hit it. So it's a recessed button, uh, shallow and uh, positive contact button. So that's the front. There are no other buttons in the front. This is the screen. And then right up here is a um, small sensor, um, a light sensor. So um, at some point that's gonna be a camera, but for now it's a light sensor. Okay, so um, that's the front. The top has um, uh, really just two buttons, or two, two things on it. This is the power button, and uh, this is a headphone jack. So that'll be important later if your kids like music. Um, and then there's also a mic up here too. Um, on the bottom, uh, on the right hand side, you have um, uh, a slider, so up, I mean down and up, and you've got a, a plus and minus. Um, let's talk about the slider first. The slider, um, in the original launch of the iPad, the slider actually prevented the device from rotating, so if you slid it down, the screen automatically senses, and I'll show you this uh, with this device when I power it up, but the screen automatically senses um, what direction it is, and it'll flip uh, landscape or if it'll portrait it'll flip portrait so um, in the original device when you slid this down it locked it in place and for special needs kids that's perfect um, uh, since uh, version 4.2 so if you buy a modern one that has 4.2 or greater this actually locks the sound now and not the rotation although there is a setting um, that will allow you to change that. Um, the other thing is that this is this is a um, a rocker. This is plus. This is minus, and this sets the volume. So that's what you have on that side. On the um, left side of the device, there are nothing, no buttons. And on the bottom is uh, two uh, very important things. One is the speaker. So this is the uh, speaker for the device. Um, if you're using Proloquo or one of the um, uh, audio communication ones, this is important, um, and we'll talk about that later uh, in the later videos. And then um, this is the um, jack that connects into the computer. So this is um, this is a multi-port um, connector that powers. This is where you do your power. This is where you do your syncing with the computer. Um, and so this is the same kind of connector that's on an iPad and the same kind of connector that's on an iPod as well. Uh, and then the back has got the Apple and then it says iPad 16 gig and so it's got the monikers on it. Um, first thing you wanna know is how to turn it on and off. The way that you turn the device on, um, and this device hasn't been registered yet, but you turn it on by holding, pressing and holding this top button. That's the only way to turn the device on when it's in the complete off state. When it's in standby, um, you can use this device or the home button. We'll turn it on uh, from standby and I'll show you that. So what it's doing right now is as you can see it's booting up and uh, it'll likely ask me to register um, the device. So that's the first, that's the next video and that's the, the first step of the device. But uh, to turn it off, um, you just click that button. So I can click that, so I can turn it off. Um, and then since this is in standby mode, it's not actually off, it's just in standby when I, when I do a quick click like that. If I click it again uh, here, it'll turn it on. So this is the only one that'll turn it off or put it in standby. Uh, so if I click and hold, it'll turn the device completely off. If I just click once, it'll put in standby. And if it's in standby mode, either device, either button, the top one or this button, will turn it on. So you can see that. That turns it off, and then that turns it back on again uh, when it's in standby mode. When it's off, the only thing um, that can turn it on is this, um, this button. Um, and then that's it. Thank you.